Can I just follow up? Do you do each of you feel that um, we should keep building industrial turbines on top of mountaintops? No, I think it's destroying Vermont, the, the Vermont, the scenic Vermont. And once again, I, it comes back to personal property rights. I think we really need to ensure that we're, we're protecting people's personal per, personal property rights. Plus, they're nowhere nearly as efficient and producing as much electricity as we thought they were going to produce. So overall, I think it's given all the subsidies that we've um, allotted to those companies, it's been a dismal failure. Right? So you're a no. Mr. Shumlin? I'm a yes. Uh, I believe we have to harness all the above to solve our climate challenge, challenge problems. We can't move fast enough. And I'm proud that we've built out three wind projects since I've been governor. And we're going to continue to, I hope, in a smart way. Now, what's a smart way? Listen to local community, which we've done every single time. Don't build when local communities get really upset about it, which, frankly, we've done, or when the project doesn't work. Make sure it's got good transmission. Make sure it's got a benefit for ratepayers, And make sure it's making a difference. All those things matter. Now, I will say this. My view is that as we continue to build out wind in a prudent fashion, we should not ask the Northeast Kingdom, which now has two major wind projects, to do more at this time. Let's spread it across the state in a thoughtful Vermont way. But we cannot solve the climate change challenge <coughs> if we say no to one of the most extraordinary renewable resources that we have. It's the wind. And Mr. Mill? Um, I think um, Vermont uh, homeowners uh, but electricity rates, I think, are about 35 percent higher than the national average. Um, this subsidized uh, industrialization of uh, our ridge lines is going to make that worse. Um, I believe that we should, uh, I promised people when I got into this race, I'd listen before I act. I've done a lot of listening. Uh, I think it's uh, clearly we need to slow down on it. I agree with Peter. I think if you said we need a moratorium in the Northeast Kingdom, uh, I agree with that. But I think we really need to slow down on it. And the whole, you know, I, 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 I just think it's um, too much, too fast. And we don't really uh, understand the uh, unintended consequences of this rush. I think if you look at George Aiken, one of the great Vermont leaders, tourism was a big deal in the 40s. We were going to pave the spine of the Green Mountain so tourists would come here. George Aiken slowed that down. I think uh, Scott Milne leadership is going to say, let's slow down and not ruin our mountaintops until we really get a little bit better long-term understanding of this.